Hello, and welcome to another SMC training session. Today, the session will be covering three topics. Inspecting and cutting the TIV tubing, proper insertion of the TIV tubing into the KV2 series push to connect fitting, and proper removal of the TIV tubing from the KV2 series push to connect fitting. Here we have a piece of TIV series tubing. It is important to closely inspect the tubing to make sure that there are no visible scratches on the end of the tubing. You should also make sure that the tubing is cut square before inserting the tubing into the fitting. As you can see, we have a piece of TIV series tubing that has deep scratches in it and the end has not been cut square. You can use SMC series TK6 tubing cutters or equivalent to properly cut the tubing. Take a piece of the tubing and position it into the cutters. Pay close attention that the tube is square to the cutters. The maximum degree off of square is 22 degrees. Zero degrees is obviously the most ideal cut. Once you've inspected the tubing, you can now insert it into the KV2 fitting. We have here a standard KV2 series fitting that has been sectioned for the video, also with a piece of TIV series tubing. The particular method that we will be discussing today is called the push-push-pull method. First, push the tube into the chuck slash seal. You will notice a slight resistance when the tube meets the chuck slash seal interface. Do not let this fool you into thinking that the tube has been fully inserted. Next, push the tube again until it comes to a hard stop. As you can see, the tube will pass the chuck slash seal and bottoms out on the tube support. Lastly, pull the tube to ensure the proper insertion. If the tube was installed correctly, it will not come out. The last part that we will cover is the proper way of removing the tube from the fitting. Make sure when removing the tubing that you are pressing on the button uniformly. The best way to do this is to use three fingers to hold the button down while using the other hand to remove the piece of tubing. This may be tough in a tight space, so do your best. An incorrect method of removing the tubing is pressing the button on one side. As you can see, when you do this, it will create deep scratches on the tube which could potentially create a leak path for air to escape. This would not be good to reinsert into the fitting and would have to be recut properly before reinserting it into the fitting. For questions or further information, please contact SMC at 1-800-SMC-SMC1 or you can visit our website at www.smcusa.com. Thank you.